National Emerging Infectious Disease Laboratory, also known as the Boston University's BioTerror Lab, located on Albany Street in South End Boston. Some residents' protests have made it under the spotlight of media. Nahid Badalia, director of infection control for the biolab, however, doesn't look at this as reverie. For almost a decade, I worked with so many different community organizations in Boston. Um, and so it's funny to be on this side of the this side of the table because I don't see it as two different sides. Interim director of the lab, Dr. John Murphy, thinks there's always going to be a protest, maybe, but it is a healthy interchange. Because the people who question what we do force us to live up to, on a daily basis, our commitments. Needle is also aware of the significance of opening up to public. And I think it's terribly important um, that people in the community understand precisely what we're doing. Protests and complaints have quieted down lately as BU makes more effort in listening to the community's voice and a tour of the biolab is available to the public. A tour, though, I feel that those those uh, concerns are, are are somewhat quelled by just a better understanding of what's going on inside. So. Different from what has been reported previously, business owners across from the lab and public safety officers who patrol the area on daily basis say the lab doesn't really bother them at all. The state has approved of biosafety level three and four researches, which will go through some other hearing and court sessions before the lab starts operation. The lab has recently received state approval and research is going to begin shortly. However, people who work around this area on a daily basis don't seem to be concerned about their personal safety. Reporting on Albany Street, this is Alexandra Schieffer, BUTV.